This is Mount Auburn, a beautiful, quiet place of rolling hills, magnificent trees, and tender memorials. Here, since 1831, people from all around Boston have laid to rest their husbands and wives, their fathers and mothers, and, all too frequently, their young and infant children. There are more than 87,000 people buried in Mount Auburn's 174 acres. It was a group of influential, mostly Harvard-educated men who first decided to create a new cemetery outside of Boston, led by physician and botanist Jacob Bigelow, inspired by the new liberal Unitarian and Universalist movements. They believed in a loving God and in universal salvation. They also renounced the Puritan view of nature as an evil force to be feared, struggled with, and conquered. They embraced the new idea that God himself was to be discovered in the magnificence of nature. Consecrated in 1831, Mount Auburn became America's very first landscaped or garden cemetery. The first cemetery designed to be picturesque, meaning a setting of great natural beauty embellished with tasteful works of art. Here, nature's glory would console the bereaved. And here, decades before Boston had a public art museum, impressive monuments, sculptures, and decorative fences would honor the dead and inspire the living. Mount Auburn became enormously appealing to the public. It drew thousands of visitors, quickly becoming Boston's most popular outdoor attraction, years before there were any public parks. Soon, seeing Mount Auburn was as essential to American and foreign travelers alike as a trip to Niagara Falls or a ride on the Erie Canal. Dr. Bigelow was a man of brilliant accomplishment, the man most responsible for the creation of Mount Auburn. A professor of medicine at Harvard, he was also a renowned botanist who published major works on horticulture featuring his own illustrations. A self-taught architect, he designed the dramatic Egyptian gate at the entrance to Mount Auburn and the cemetery's first building, the chapel, which is now named for him. He even coined the word technology, which he described in a series of lectures as the application of the sciences to the useful art. A founder of the Massachusetts Horticultural Society, Dr. Bigelow made the connection between Boston's burial needs and the new idea that horticulture was the most distinguished of the fine arts, that beautiful landscaping could affect the emotions as powerfully as music or painting. Mount Auburn, founded under the auspices of the Horticultural Society, would prove his point. The popularity of this cemetery led directly to the creation of public parks throughout the country. This large statue was commissioned and paid for by Dr. Bigelow himself in 1870 to honor the northern troops who had given their lives in, as he called it, the Great War of American Conservation. In the early 19th century, this land was a favorite retreat for Harvard students who called it Sweet Auburn after a mythical village in Oliver Goldsmith's poem, The Deserted Village. When some of these students later founded the cemetery, they named the hill Mount Auburn and bestowed the name on the whole cemetery. The tower was built in 1852 and honors George Washington. It is 62 feet tall and was designed by, who else, Dr. Jacob Bigelow. There are more than 4,000 trees here, representing some 600 varieties. Virtually all are labeled. This is one of the finest collections in North America. The Friends of Mount Auburn, a nonprofit educational trust, conducts frequent guided walking tours on horticulture, history, art and architecture, bird walks, and other programs. You'll find a great deal of printed information at the Gatehouse located in Dr. Bigelow's Grand Egyptian Gate.